Well, today we patched up an old concrete foundation. I guess they had did a little addition to it. It had some white stucco paint on it. We just went over the top of it, made it look better. And this is kind of old school, the way I used to do it before they came out with the fast drying cements. So here we go. Well, today we're gonna do the bottom of the garage. Let's do a walk around and look at it. We got some holes there. Looks like it's been plastered and painted. You can see the plaster on top. Looks like a window or something was there at one time or a doorway. Look at this. Looks like at one time they did a little fancy stucco. Make it look like brick. That's concrete. And this is all peeling off of here. And this, look at you can see where they tried to do something fancy here at one time. Then they got a concrete pad. It was probably a garage and they made it bigger. And that's what happened. So we're gonna doctor it all up. First thing that we're gonna do is kind of dig this out so we can get the plaster down there. And if it's loose, we're gonna get it out. And if it ain't loose, we're not gonna bother it. See that? That's all pretty good. Right there a little bit. This we're gonna have to build out a little bit. I get to dig in there. Get this out like that. There's nothing under there. You gotta kind of build it out. I'm gonna make a project out of it. And we're gonna continue on down here. See it? Rub the hammer around it and dig down. If it ain't loose, we're gonna leave it there. That's it. Then we get a steel brush and just go over it. If it's loose, it's gonna show. That's it. If it ain't loose, we're not gonna bother it. I'm gonna dig all this stuff out of here. This is loose. See if it's loose, get it off. It's like someone blocked up a doorway here. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna get it back though. Back to there and just keep going. Here's that corner stucco. That part stayed on good. Let me see. Whoa. We'll leave that there. So now I got it all cleaned out and I moved everything away from the building. Wire brushed it. Now I'm going to just hose it down. Hose this all out of here. The first order of business. So for the scratch coat, I'm getting one bucket of masonry sand. Then I'm using type S mortar, which uh, contains a lot of Portland in it. Almost a half a bucket. And the rest is Portland. And I'm a big advocate of Portland. So oh. to a full bucket, we're almost going three quarters of cement. And then we mix that up dry. And then for the bottom coat, I need to get some little fiberglass. You've seen that in my other videos. That's just for the bottom coat. Might help it to stick a little, stay together a little longer. I'm just gonna mix that up good. That'll all blend in. Okay, we add some water. We're gonna mix it up. So I'm keeping this a little stiff because I want to get the big holes first. And then I'll soup it up as I go. Okay, now I'm gonna make my old school bonding agent, which I just get Portland. And I put it right in there like that. This is my old school bonding agent. So I add some water and I start mixing it up. All it is is my old school bonding agent. All the old timers did this. So we're gonna get this into a paint. 
a boom a boom and we're gonna start using it so first we're gonna fill in the hole and make sure it's wet first then once it's wet we get our old school bonding agent we get in there and we paint it all over that is what's gonna make that stick so we're gonna get our cement Get it down in there pretty good and get it in there some more like that and if you want to wet this that's good too we're gonna plaster right over that that's gonna stick in there like that and we might have to shim it up a bit like that and this in here like this. See it's stiff. Stiff. I want it stiff. Let's see how that is too. And that's what we're doing today. We're just going to go around and get the big stuff. And then when I do my final coat, all this stuff is taken care of. Make sure it's damp. Get the old school bonding agent going like that I'm gonna fill in these big holes first that's all we're doing right now and it's stiff See? now I was thinking of going buying all this fast drying cement but it wouldn't have came out as good as I wanted to come out this way That. Filling the big holes in. That's what we're doing first. Then we get our broom and we scratch it. Same thing, we got a hole here. Wet it first. Old school bonding agent. This is probably a drain from uh, the inside of the garage. Then we fill it in with the stiff stuff, you see? You can't use soft stuff, you gotta use the harder stuff to fill this in. And then when we go over our final coat, we'll be good. No big deal. Ain't no big deal. See? that rough just like that gotta come back here anyway so now that's holes filled in and we continue we continue on all right we got all these big spots filled in see them so now we're gonna soup that cement up a little bit make it a little softer and go over the whole thing okay now we're gonna Put some water in this and soup it up and plaster the rest of it. Make it a little soft. So that's it, we got it souped up a little bit, put it in the pan, and then we're gonna go around the side. So same thing, now we're gonna go around it with the, the wet it first, make sure it's wet. I'm gonna paint everything with the Portland, see it? That's the bonding agent. That what's gonna make it stick. And then, we're gonna use the soft stuff, see it? I'm using that because you really want it to stick in there. We filled all the holes with the big stuff. Like this. We'll go right over everything. got in there, how did grass get in there? Right over it. That's 
it. Put this bottom stuff away so the frost don't get under it. Just like that. And then we're gonna scratch it. I'm just gonna get the broom and scratch it. And then we're gonna come back a few days and redo the whole thing with a little stucco. So we just make sure it's wet, go over it with the paint, the bonding agent. Just for a recap, that's what's gonna make it stick. Keep yelling that. And then paint right over it immediately. Gonna make that stick. All right, we did our first coat. We went right around. We got all the big stuff. We went over it with a lighter coat, and we're just going to uh, wait a few days and let that kind of all harden up. Then we're gonna come back and do the rest of it. Okay, we're back about a week later because we had other things to do. You see where the stuff where the uh, thick stuff went in that dried different color than the other stuff that's because it was all different sizes so all we're gonna do now is put on the final coat and years ago I put this on see it's like I just splash it on for the customer same thing so we're gonna do that here except in regular cement instead of white so the first thing I'm gonna do before I mix my cement is wet it all down I want this to be wet when I put my second course on it. This will give it some time to soak in there. Now we mixed up the same mix as we did last time. Well, before I put my second coat on, I go around and I chop the bottom because I don't want the frost to get under there. So I chop the bottom before I put my second coat on. Now it's time to put the second coat on. I'm just gonna give it another shot. Like I said, you gotta you gotta keep it wet. We'll do the same thing, except this time we're putting on a thin coat. See that? We're putting on a very thin coat right over the wetness. We don't have to. Get up underneath there. You don't have to use the paint for the second coat. That was this is uh, adequate enough. And we're continuing on. Give it a little wet first. Continue on. And make sure you get up under there. Under the top, so there are no critters going to get in there. Bend down and look. I know when that's wet like that, that's going to stick. And then same thing, we're just going to brush it. We're gonna put our little popcorn finish on it. So now we plastered and brushed it from point to point. The idea is not to stop, and it only took us like 10 minutes. So now we could start splashing it. And then what we do, this is the old school way, is you come over here, and that's the hard stuff. And then we're gonna really soup it up. We're gonna make what they call a splash out of it. Really wet. And, and then we're going to splash it on. So we get our brush, stucco brush they call it. And then just splash it on, see? No big deal. The whole trick is to go and stop. 
and it splashes on. See? Practice on a piece of plywood first. What this does is hide all the sins. See? So this foundation could be in and out, out and in. And this hides all that stuff. Just like that. And real quick, you just get the sponge and water, get all that stuff off of there, don't let it dry. Sometimes we'll go around with a cardboard or something so we don't get nothing on the siding. Now I got the nephew doing it. He's not doing too bad. He's got to go back to school. And uh, stick it in the in the thing first. Get it in there good. Get it in there good. Okay. Take it out. That's it. You just splash it. Not too close. You're hitting it. But he's going back to school. What are you gonna? What kind of courses are you gonna take? Uh, I'm just gonna take whatever they want to teach me. Why don't you just take a course on how to make money? Because I don't think they have a class on how to make money. Well, why don't they have a class? I mean, you're going to school, you got to go make money. You just don't want to get a job and work for Uncle Michael all your life, do you? No, Uncle Michael, I don't think they know how to make money. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's two ways to make money. You're doing good. Go back a little bit. Two ways to make money. Either you buy something for less and sell it for more, like Honest Mike, houses or cars, or you provide a service that someone wants to do or don't want to do. That's the only two ways I know how to make money. You ain't got to go to school for that, do you? Uncle Michael, yeah. how come you're not rich? Well, because our fathers taught us how to work, but they never taught us how to make money. You see what I mean? Yep. Now, boy, you just got yourself a heap of learning. <laughs> I'm continuing on on the other side. Remember we did this about four days ago? See that? That's a little expansion crack. That's why we wait. <laughs> a few days with traditional cement so that uh, it's all cracked up and then when we go over the top of it there won't be any more cracks well we're all done we did the whole thing up around the side and it take a couple days for it to really get hard but it's done so that's it we're all done old school way of doing things if it was a fast drying stuff I would have did it and then went over the top but I had other jobs and it I think it makes a little nicer job sometimes. So thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. Until next video.